Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be watching Matilda. So out of all the Ruol doll books that got turned into movies, I have seen James and the Giant Peach, which is my favorite. And also I think it's the only book I've read. It's been so long, I don't really remember which books I've read from him, but I know for sure I read that book. I've seen Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, I've seen Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and I've seen both versions of The Witches, which by the way, the original Witches with Angelica Houston, I watched it for the first time a couple months ago. If you've never seen that movie, please go watch it. I went into it completely blind. I had no idea what the plot was. Absolutely nothing could have prepared me for that mouse transformation scene. I was horrified. <laughs> Bringing it back to the topic of Matilda, I've never seen the movie. I've always wanted to watch it. No one around me really watched it or wanted to watch it. I know the plot. I've heard people talk about it enough to know like the basic plot. I also listened to the musical. Side note, if you ever want to feel like you're untalented, go watch a performance of Revolting Children. Broadway children are just another breed. I've seen clips of like the cake eating scenes or gifs of it. But other than that, I don't know everything. I just know it's like a girl who has telekinetic powers and she's an orphan, I think. There's a nice teacher and a mean headmistress. And yeah, I'm really excited. I hope it's as good as people made it out to be. Without further ado, let's get started on Matilda. That's a cute ass baby. Oh yeah, I did read that Danny DeVito was in this movie. What a waste of time. And painful. And expensive. Nine oh, is she not an orphan? Oh, my bad. Can't believe Danny DeVito just threw that baby in. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, Matilda, now look what you did. They named her. Oh my god. How are you gonna blame a literal baby for making a mess? Come on. People like that shouldn't have children, honestly. How to take care of herself. By the age of three, this girl is neglected. On the way. On the way. Oh my gosh, she made her own pancakes. Okay, good for you, independent girly, but also not good for you because your parents suck. What do you want a book for? To read. To read? Why would you want to That read? little girl's so cute. She saw that whatever she needed in this world, she'd have to get herself. That's so sad. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. This is a four-year-old. Would you like me to pick you out one with lots of pictures in it? No, thank you. I'm sure I can manage. <laughs> cute. I can't get over it. She is such a cute child. Mrs. Phelps, who had been watching her- with Oh my god. Did she- Did she birth Michael Phelps? That was a bad joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> so Matilda's strong young mind can- The librarian let her check out all those books at once. Whenever I check books out at the library, they're like, Max- Two. I want to be in school. I told you I was supposed to start school in <gasps> September. Oh my god! They didn't put her in school? Oh, bro. Someone needs to call CPS. Who would be here to sign for the packages? We can't <sighs> valuable packages what the sitting fuck? out on the doorstep. Yo, Why what the fuck? Like this girl better tell us <laughs> tell that librarian so that librarian can call CPS. Hey dip face! Have a marshmallow! Have another marshmallow. Why are you wasting food? Even if it's just marshmallows. Oh my god, that was a thick tear. <laughs> Sometimes Matilda longed for a friend. Someone like the kind, courageous people in her books. Such people might exist only in storybooks. But Matilda was about to discover that she could be her own friend. Whoa. That she had a kind of strength she wasn't even aware of. Bro, when you say it like that, that's so... Depressing. The first car your brilliant father sold cost three hundred and twenty dollars. I sold it for one thousand one hundred and fifty eight dollars. And the fourth cost one thousand one hundred dollars. I sold it for seven thousand eight hundred and thirty nine big American buffaloes. What was my profit for the day? Can you repeat the last ten thousand two hundred and sixty five dollars? Okay, damn math whiz. Um, just a subtle flex, but in elementary school, I was in the math Olympiads. <laughs> when a person is bad. That person has to be taught a lesson. Person? Get up. Get up. <gasps> oh my god, he grabbed her by the hair. He meant to say, when a child is bad. Instead, he said, when a person is bad. And thereby introduced a revolutionary idea that children 
could punish their parents. Wait, is that like, what is that, aftershave? She is trying to melt his skin off. Michael, come into my room. <gasps> oh, it's okay, what? I see. It's gonna dye his hair. Oh wait, if it's supposed to be like, to grow hair, wouldn't that just burn his scalp? Well-oiled hair, clean shave. Oh, it's snacks. oil? I thought it was like one of those elixirs that just that people say can grow hair. Oh, bro, his scalp's gonna burn. Well deserved though. Okay, my boy, heir to the throne. Is it dyed? Yes! I knew it was gonna dye his hair. How did he not notice his scalp being itchy? Dirty dealings never stay secret for long, especially when the FBI gets involved. FBI? Oh my God, is it that serious? For him. I hope they record the abuse that she is going through. We really should weld these bumpers on. We use super, super glue instead. Go ahead, put it on. Okay, because they had a shot on the super, super glue, it's gonna be used for something. I know it. Nobody ever got rich being honest. 20 years ago, we could turn- He's not wrong. This is illegal. <laughs> She's so cute. This is illegal. I'm smart, you're dumb. I'm big, you're little. I'm right, you're wrong. And there's nothing you can do about it. Whoa. She's so done. That face was like, fuck my life. Here's your hat, Taddy. Get in the car. I'm surprised that they took her with them. This is a nice place. You can't wear a hat inside. I can't <laughs> oh my God, he about a bald. How? In public? That's so embarrassing. Stop it! Five is a fuse to the head! Five is a fuse? What is that Ow. supposed to mean? That shot of that woman... Did I ask? She looked like, she looked like D Johnny Depp's Willy Wonka. That haircut was tragic, girl. Ooh, nice. Wow. Oh. Matilda is so pleased with herself. Good for you, girl. I support it. We are eating dinner and watching TV. Where's Matilda's dinner? Oh my God, they don't even feed her. Shut your light off. She needs light to read. Here's how it goes. For each correct oh, that, it's on? Oh. Are you in this family? Unfortunately. <laughs> Hello? She did not want to answer. What is this trash you're reading? It's not trash, Daddy. It's lovely. It's called Moby Dick by Herman Melville. You think Moby Dick is lovely? Bro, Moby Dick is boring as fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is filth. Trash. Here. That's Here. not mine. I cannot Sit believe up. he did Can that to the book. Oh! <laughs> Oh, bro, the zoom in. Her telekinesis is about to come through. Oh my god, the music. She's going insane. Oh, oh, fuck. Yes. Now do that with their heads. Honestly, if this had murder, this would be Carrie. My school is a model of discipline. Use the rod, beat the child. That's my <laughs> motto. Yeah, I got a boy, Mikey, and one mistake, Matilda. They're all mistakes, children. He caught her a mistake. Oh my god. She tried to imagine what her new school would be like. Go ahead. He just dropped her off. He didn't like. He just expected her to figure it out. Damn, her calves are crazy. You're too small. Grow up quicker. <laughs> she said, hit puberty right now. I'm Matilda. Lavender. I'm Hortensia. Hi. Hi. Lavender. She's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> the trunch boys used to be in the Olympics. Shot put, javelin. She's so cute. Oh my gosh. You have to stand in a drippy pipe with jagged edges, and the walls are broken glass and nails. <laughs> oh my god. Fresh meat. <laughs> oh, all these child actors are so cute. Look at her fit. She is dripping. And with matching glasses. Oh my god. Look at her. You'll chop those off before school tomorrow, or I will come around. I'll give you back. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh, okay, okay, good. my teacher like run, run, would run. they all have the same teacher how would how would lavender know 
Oh, how lovely. Amanda, you're a fucking liar. Okay, listen, you did that on accident. Now, you all remember how scary your first days at school were, so I'd like you to be especially nice to Matilda and make her feel welcome, all right? Aww. Could you get two times sixes? Twelve. Two times nine is? Eighteen. Thirteen times 379. <laughs> Four thousand nine hundred twenty-seven. It is. <laughs> Why was that shot so dramatic? But lately I've been reading Dolls Chickens. Charles Chickens. I could read him every day. So could I. Is she gonna adopt Matilda by the end of this? <laughs> oh, Matilda has someone that cares about her now. I'm so happy. But then like, it's so sad because Matilda has to like go home to those horrible, to that horrible family. It's also kind of sad because a lot of children actually like go through that. They have like a horrible home life and sometimes teachers are the ones that show empathy for them. More respect to teachers, raise their wages. I think she might be happier in, in an older and in a more advanced class. Ah, I knew it. You can't handle the little viper, so you're trying to foist her off on one of the other teachers. If you can't handle the little brat, I'll lock her in the chokey! Oh. Oh. And you'll see that everything I do is for your own good. And the good of those putrescent little children! It's like, I wonder why she stays there, like, keeps working there, if the principal is so awful. But it's also like, she probably doesn't want to leave the children under such awful care. My teacher lets me do no. sixth grade work. You're Look, kidding. Algebra and geography. That. Hold on a minute. Can't you see I'm in the middle? Oh, it's so sad that she still tries to have a relationship with them and they just don't care. He's on the ropes, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Saved by the bell. Oh my god. I thought my actual doorbell rang. I got scared for a little bit. If you think watching some rotten TV show is more important than your daughter, then maybe you shouldn't be a parent. Yeah! <laughs> yes, tell him off. Tell him off. I'm sure you're aware by now that Matilda has a brilliant mind. They are not. They are not aware. She's reading material that I didn't see until my second year of college. Second year of college? A girl does not get anywhere by acting intelligent. I mean, take a look at you and me. Acting intelligent? You chose books. I chose looks. <laughs> I mean, it's not nice to compare, but Miss Honey is obviously better. <laughs> Sneer at educated people, Mr. Wormwood. Or say you were sued for selling a faulty car. The lawyer who defended you would have gone to college too. What car? Sued by who? <laughs> That's what he picked up on. It's kind of like when you show your parent like a TikTok or a tweet that you think is funny and your parent's like, who is that? Do you know them? Are, you, are they your friend? And you're just like, no, I just thought it was funny. The fact that she personally came to her house our school will go to the assembly room immediately. That was definitely a hand doing that. <laughs> oh my god, is it the cake eating scene already? Would little Brucey come up here? Oh my god, these close-ups. You're a disgusting criminal, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking Now, eat it. With his hand? I don't want any. Thank you. And he was so polite about it. He was like, no, thank you. That cake looks good though. It looks really moist. Although it looks like it has way too much frosting for me. She made this cake just for you. Oh, hot damn. What the fuck? That's massive. I don't remember the cake being that big in the gifs I've seen. Now eat it. <laughs> His face. She really created a whole assembly for this. Damn, he just abandoned the fork. I'm surprised he hasn't thrown up. Oh, he's going to puke. Puke on her. These kids had to sit there and watch. You can do it, Bruce! Yeah, you can do it! You, you, you want him to finish? I think that's enough. Perhaps they should have said, you can stop. Oh my God, I can't believe he finished it. The entire assembly will stay five hours after school and copy from the dictionary! The bus driver is driving this late at night. I know he fucking hates this. The cops are watching the house. They're parked outside right now. You are such an ignoramus! Those are speedboat salesmen. <laughs> I don't know why she's even telling them. I would have just let them get arrested at some point. It's a salamander. 
It's a chameleon. It's a new chameleon. You slut! Flaming car! Um, what? Sell me a lemon. You're heading for the turkey, young lady. Oh my God, that's not her fault. Please get a water pitcher. No, it's a beer. Any second, come on. Okay, there's a shot with the salamander. What's gonna happen? <gasps> She's gonna put it in the water jug and Miss Trenchbull is gonna drink that bitch. I have never been able to understand why small children are so disgusting. They're the bane of my life. I have a few friends who don't like kids at all. And if they watch this movie, they would be on the principal side. They even included me in a group chat. <laughs> I'm the only one who likes kids in there. I worked at a daycare. Miss Honey, this could be- Oh my god. Oh. Sit down, you squirming worm of vomit. Thank you, Miss <laughs> He said thank you. <laughs> Lavender is so cute. You couldn't spell difficulty if your life depended on it. Mrs. D, Mrs. I. Mrs. F-F-I, Mrs. Oh, she cued everyone to join in. That's so cute. <laughs> she doesn't notice the huge salamander. Oh, wait, it didn't go in her mouth. Ah, it's a snake. <laughs> she about to correct her. That's a newt. I just thought you'd like to know it's not a snake. It's a newt. Yes, <laughs> love it. Love her being a smart ass. Because I'm big and you're small, and I'm right and you're wrong, and there's nothing you can do it. Wow, the same exact line as her dad. I am God! <gasps> wow, I just loved being in her mouth. Thanks for not telling. Best friends don't tell. Besties! I made the glass tip over. Oh, sweetheart. Don't let Miss Trunchbull make you feel that way. Watch, I'll prove it to you. It's wonderful you feel so powerful. <laughs> Many people She's such a good teacher. I really did do it, Miss Honey. Does her power only work if she's like super angry? That's where Miss Trunchbull lives. A girl I know used to live in that house. The girl's aunt was a mean person who treated the girl very badly. When the girl was five, her father died. <sighs> How did her father die? The police decided he'd killed himself. Why would he do such a thing? This woman is a murderer. Actually, would not put it past her. She broke that glass on that kid's head. <gasps> oh, is that her? She is the child. Oh, that's her aunt? That fucking sucks. You were born into a family that doesn't always appreciate you. But one day, things are going to be very different. Aww. When I left my home, Aunt Trunchbull's home, I had to leave all my treasures behind. Beautiful doll my mother gave me with a china face. Why don't you run away? I can't abandon my children. And if I could- See? I was right! Oh my god, she didn't want to leave the children behind. All grown-ups get scared, just like children. That's true. I wonder what Miss Trunchbull was afraid of. She was afraid of that newt, for sure. <laughs> oh, is she afraid of cats? Black cats. <gasps> she punted that bitch. Oh my god. Father's chocolate box. When he died, Aunt Trunchbull would count them so I couldn't even sneak one. Have one. No. She'd notice. Take the whole box. Fuck that bitch. Just take it. But she didn't even put it back on. They're definitely gonna notice now. Is that Lissy Dog? Yo, that doll uh, looks haunted. No thanks. See? What did I say? What did I say? Come on. What? They didn't notice? She didn't notice them just now up the railing? Oh no. Oh my gosh, she shook the whole house! Oh my god, how'd she do that? What the f- Ew. The actress who was playing Miss Trunchbull, she is doing a banger of a job. She is so in character. I'm kind of impressed. 
How on earth? You know she's gonna be in the worst mood the next day at school. We'll wait until she leaves again. Then we'll go get your doll. Now I what? think... Just kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like, nah, leave the doll behind. It's not worth it. They are not cops. They are ace powerboat salesmen. Baby face, I'm stuck. <laughs> she's an idiot. Yell at me, okay? Shut up and leave us alone. My word is my law. You are the Yes! I was just thinking that for a movie about a girl with telekinesis, she hasn't been using it that much, but now she is, so now I'm excited. She's having a blast! Good for her. She will cause real havoc now. Shouldn't we have a search warrant to do this? Nah, this guy's dirty. Once we show this tape in court, Wilmot's goose is cooked. I think you still need a warrant though. She's just there. They don't even notice her. There's another crime in the making. Your car is about to run a stop sign. So she bought a little time for her dad to come to his senses. But now- Honestly, let him go to jail. Oh my God, she is not going to go back to steal that doll. Please. No, that doll is haunted. That is Annabelle. Did she have to go on the windiest night? She could have done this any other night. No, not the ribbon. No, her identifier. <laughs> She's like, I'm losing my goddamn mind. <laughs> I am just loving this psychological terror that Matilda is bestowing upon Miss Trunchbull. This is so good. Wow. Miss Honey, you'll never believe what I got you. You might want to put that doll away. What is it your father used to call you? Hummingbird? Bumblebee. ribbon belong to ew you know some of that spit sprayed on the kids look <laughs> these kids are putting in the work <laughs> with their chant oh my god they're making it so much worse for her <laughs> Oh my god, she fell hard. Sheesh. <laughs> Don't you dare not lavender. Not my sweet baby lavender. Oh. <laughs> this is so satisfying. For someone who hates kids, and being humiliated like that by kids. It's just some just desserts. This is so good. Miss Honey moved back into her father's house. Oh, cleaned up nice. We're moving to Guam. Come on. Guam? Adopt me, Miss Honey. Yes. One second, Dad. I have the adoption papers. <laughs> what? Hey, what? Where get those? <laughs> I have a book in the library. I've had them since I was big enough to Xerox. She's just been carrying around adoption papers? That's so sad. <laughs> That's so sad. I hope the cops get them. I don't want them to escape to Guam. Are you serious right now? You're not gonna be calling us for support payments or something like that, huh? Oh, no, no, no. We'll have everything we need. Don't worry. Yeah, Miss Honey's loaded. Do you even see that house? And Matilda and Miss Honey each got what they had always wanted. A family? A loving family. <laughs> get that fucking doll off her bed please. That was so good. Oh my gosh. That was so good. I really enjoyed that. The kids were so cute. The kids were so cute. Matilda was so cute. Lavender was so cute. Ah. Danny DeVito and the whole family were all horrible, but they were all so funny at the same time. And Matilda was just so smart. She was such a precocious child. And Miss Honey was so sweet. Sometimes movies like to overdo it with like those kinds of nice characters. It almost feels like they're 
not real. Like they're too nice to be real. But I feel like Miss Honey definitely felt like a real person, like a teacher who truly cared about her students. And I really liked that. And it fit really well with Matilda's situation and everything. That was such a good movie. And it was really funny. Not to mention that, like, yeah, 1996 green screen, not the best, obviously. Those scenes were super funny. I thought everything was paced really well. I can see why a lot of people love this movie. I'm so happy I was able to watch this. That was, ah, I'm obsessed. That was so all right, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you guys for the next video.